output formats in MapReduce. Now that you've completed the input formats in MapReduce, let's look into the classes for the MapReduce output format. The first class is default output format, which is text output format. It writes records as lines of text. Each key value pair is separated by a tab character. This can be customized by using the MapReduce text output format dot separator property. The corresponding input format is key value text input format. Sequence file output format writes sequence files to save on output space. This represents a very compact and compressed version of normal data blocks. Sequence file as binary output format is responsible for writing key value pairs that are in raw binary format into a sequential file container. And map file output format writes map files as the output. The keys in a map file are added in a specific order. The reducer then emits keys in that sorted order. Multiple text output format writes data to multiple files whose names are derived from the output keys and, and multiple values. sequence file output format creates output in multiple files in a compressed form. Let's look at distributed caching. A distributed cache is a Hadoop feature to cache files that are needed by the applications. A distributed cache will help boost efficiency when a map or reduced task needs access to common data. It allows a cluster node to read the imported files from its local file system instead of retrieving the files from other cluster nodes in the environment. It allows both single files and archives such as zip and tar.gz. It copies files only to slave nodes. If there are no slave nodes in the cluster, then distributed cache copies the files to the master node. It allows access to the cached files from mapper or reducer applications to make sure that the current working directory is added into the application path. And allows referencing of the cached files as though they were present in the current working directory, vastly speeding up access.